if you are suffering from back pain and if you are confused whether i should apply hot fermentation or cold fermentation for my low back pain if that's the confusion that is existing in today's video i'm going to solve that problem for you so want to know whether hot pack is right for you or else cold pack make sure to watch this video till the end let's begin Hello friends, I am physiotherapist Meghna Dave and welcome to the YouTube channel Health Q, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. Now, low back pain is a very common problem and we use hot fermentation and cold packs often for reducing our pain levels. To me, I believe these two therapies, hot fermentation and cold fermentation are a very underrated therapies. They works wonders in managing your low back pain. but we don't know the importance and also the right technique of using them so with this video i want to help you out in understanding the benefits of applying hot fermentation and cold fermentation as well as i'll also tell you which is the right time of applying hot pack which is the right time of applying cold pack and what are certain things that you should keep in mind while using these methods so let's have a look if you are having low back pain which is of mechanical in nature which is either acute or chronic which doesn't involve any kind of other uh, injury that has directly impacted your internal spinal structures then the hot fermentation and cold fermentation is a right therapy technique apart from that if you are having some sort of herniated disc or any other chronic problems then you might not get enough effect from these therapies and you need some alternate methods as well common low back pains mechanical pain pain that happens due to workout or some sort of muscle soreness for them ice pack and cold are very beneficial but there are several times where ice pack is ideal and there are several times where hot fermentation is ideal so first let's have a look at when and how ice pack would be helpful if you are having pain that is acute in nature which means if your pain is less than 48 hours then ice pack should be a choice of application never apply hot fermentation in acute low back pain even if you have gone for a workout or else if you have exercised followed by which you are experiencing some side some kind of muscle soreness that is immediate post exercise at that time also you should always opt for ice pack over hot fermentation apply cold pack before going to bed if you are also if you have exercised for that day or else you had some kind of hectic day when you feel that your body has become achy and sore but refrain from using ice packs if you are having a chronic low back pain problem if you are having some open wound or having some bleeding in the area if you are having some some kind of fluid that is coming out from any kind of ulcer or any kind of injury mark in your back region at that time you should not apply cold pack even if you are having neurological disorder which leads to temperature deficit then you should refrain from using ice pack if you are having rheumatoid arthritis ulceration or any kind of inflammatory condition which means if your skin has become red then you should not apply ice pack now there are few ways with which you can apply ice pack for your back pain one of the most simplest way is the commercially uh, one of the most simplest way is in commercially uh, available cold packs which you can purchase from any pharmacy store or else amazon flipkart or any kind of e-commerce website also so another simple way of using ice pack is a bag of frozen vegetables or else you can take a ziploc bag in which you fill ice cubes and then you can apply it over the painful area if you are not able to bear cold the uh, temperature that is extreme then you can wrap the cold pack with a towel and then place it to your painful back region an ice cube massage is a very good way of achieving good amount of ice therapy to your back region now comes the heat therapy or is hot fermentation again hot fermentation can be taken with the help of different methods one of the most simplest way is dipping a towel in hot water squeezing it out and placing it to the area apart from that hot water bag that are also easily available in pharmacy stores or as any kind of e-commerce platform even that is an effective way of using hot fermentation there are also some electric heating pads that are available which you can use infrared lamps are available 
which can act as hot fermentation device. But these becomes the format of dry heat. There is a difference between moist heat and dry heat. Moist heat is always better over dry heat, but it has its own advantages and disadvantages. Like moist heat uh, kind of affects your temperature like it gets cooler sooner the consistency of temperature doesn't stay the same apart from that you have to compromise as your uh, compromise on the uh, clothes that you are wearing as your clothes will become wet but apart from that there are no other there are no other problems with moist heat when it comes to uh, the electrical pads or is the dry heat then even though you get a consistent amount of heat but these heat doesn't penetrate that well as the moist heat can penetrate the quality of increase in blood circulation that you can achieve from moist heat is much better compared to dry heat. Now, one other way of taking hot fermentation is the socks method. Uh, you can take raw rice in a socks, then you can just tie it off and then microwave it for one minute and then you can place that a hot pack over the area of pain. That's an another simple method of hot fermentation or is hot pack application. Now, when you should use hot fermentation. So hot fermentation should always be used whenever you are having some sort of chronic problem, which means a problem that has lasted longer than 48 hours. In those scenario, hot fermentations are more helpful. So if you are suffering from chronic, uh, some sort of chronic low back pain, then always prefer hot fermentation over cold back. If your pain is subacute, then you should always go for low level heat, which means the heat that or is the temperature that is very mild or is very warm kind of temperature which can be applied or is kept for a sustained period of time if you are also having chronic low back pain then you can apply hot fermentation before going to bed even applying hot fermentation in the morning after and complete night sleep helps in reducing the aches and stiffness that you develop after sleeping for a long period of time again if you are having open wounds if you are having bleeding if you are having some sort of flu oozing out or else if you have some sort of ulcers, neurological disorders, rheumatoid arthritis or any kind of inflammation then you should refrain from using hot fermentation. So with this video I tried to let you understand when you should use hot fermentation and when you should choose cold packs. I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes make sure to like this video, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.